Galapagos Packing List What to Pack for the Galapagos Cruise of a Lifetime Most Galapagos Island cruises and tours will incorporate a series of activities throughout the archipelago, which include daily walks and hikes, snorkeling, zodiac or tender rides, which are called pangas locally, sea kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding, and more. Knowing that you have all the clothing and equipment you need before you go, that it works and that it fits, will ensure peace of mind during your once-in-a-lifetime Galapagos adventure. Remember to pack as light as possible so that you can travel with ease around Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands. The list of what to pack for a Galapagos tour is varied, but in this video we have simplified the process to get you ready from head to toe. Please note, the specific items we detail in each section of this video have been carefully selected to enhance your Galapagos experience. You can also download a complete clothing and equipment Galapagos packing list to print and use as a guide when preparing for your Galapagos adventure. There's a link to this packing list in the video description below. We also recommend you check out the gear shop so you can see what each item on the list is all about. Link to the gear shop is also found in the description below. An important note on weather. Because the Galapagos Islands are located right on the equator, weather in the islands does not vary much throughout the year. Therefore, regardless of the time of year when you travel to the Galapagos, this one packing list is all that you will need. The best way to experience and enjoy this natural paradise to its fullest is to come well prepared with clothing and gear for all your daily activities, and Quasar is here to help you with that. Let's get started. The best shoes for a Galapagos trip. For an enjoyable Galapagos experience, you will require two types of shoes, one for dry landings and one for wet landings. A dry landing is when you disembark from your Zodiac or Panga directly onto dry land, without getting your feet wet. A wet landing, on the other hand, is when there are no docks or dry landing disembarkation points on an island visitor site, and you must disembark directly into the water on the shore of a beach. Both types of landings are very common on all Galapagos trips, but especially on Galapagos Islands cruises. Shoes and footwear for dry landings. For the island trails that have a dry landing, you will need to bring comfortable walking or hiking shoes with good traction. These will likely be the same shoes you use for any activities in mainland Ecuador if you plan to explore the mainland before or after your cruise. Depending on how sure-footed you are, regular running or trail shoes will often suffice as the ideal footwear for the daily walks and hikes around the islands. However, if you prefer a little more support, you may want to consider bringing hiking shoes including models with ankle support. Shoes and footwear for wet landings. Tiva style sandals or water shoes are ideal for wet landings because they allow you to get your feet wet and to continue walking around the island beaches and the lighter trails without requiring an additional pair of shoes. On some trails, in addition to the wet landing footwear, you may also want to consider bringing your regular hiking shoes to change into them for a more comfortable hiking experience. Crocs, another type of water shoes that can get wet, are also good for the Galapagos, but please make sure they have good traction on the sole and that they stay firmly secure on your feet when you disembark in the surf. Flip-flops and single-strap sandals, although acceptable on deck, are not recommended for when disembarking on the islands, either in wet or on dry landings. An important note on shoes while on board your boat. On most cruises, the shoes you wear during landings are kept in a bin or in a shoe rack near the boarding zone of the yacht. If you want to wear these same shoes on board, you will need to wash the bottoms every time you return to your yacht. We highly recommend having a light pair of deck shoes or sandals, also flip-flops, for when on board your yacht. Bare feet are also acceptable in most cruises, although on Quasar cruises and many other cruises around the islands, we do require you to wear shoes for dinner. To summarize, here's a quick checklist of the footwear required for a Galapagos cruise. One pair of good comfortable walking or hiking shoes. One pair of Tiva style sandals or water shoes. And one pair of deck shoes or Crocs. Clothing and what to wear while in the Galapagos. Here's a list of the regular clothing items that you should bring on your Galapagos cruise adventure. This list includes items for the daily walks and hikes around the islands, as well as for the time you spend on board your yacht. 
The quantities shown on each item are enough to last you for an entire 8-day cruise without requiring you to do laundry. But if you're traveling for less than 8 days or for more than 8 days, please calculate accordingly. Also, most cruise companies offer laundry service either aboard the yacht or on the day the ship visits port. Quasar does offer laundry service to all its guests, but please inquire with your cruise company whether it's available for you and if it's included or available at an extra cost. During dinners, on board Quasar yachts and on board many other cruise companies around the islands, guests are encouraged to wear slightly different clothing than for the daily island excursions. For men, this includes long pants, dress shorts and dress shirts or polos, and for women, this includes long pants, skirts, blouses or casual dresses. Wearing a bathing suit to the evening meals is not recommended. Of course, this is only a suggestion and your choice of attire is entirely your own. Here's the full list of clothing recommended for a week-long Galapagos cruise. Four or five t-shirts for when on the islands, made from quick drying materials if possible. Two polo shirts. Two short sleeve button down shirts. Eight pairs of regular underwear. Eight pairs of socks. Two to three pairs of high teen shorts. Two dress shirts or blouses. One or two pairs of lightweight full length pants, either synthetic or cotton. One pair of jeans for traveling two pairs of docker pants or slacks for the evenings, and two or three swimsuits or swim trunks. What to wear for snorkeling in the Galapagos. Snorkeling in the Galapagos Islands is a major highlight for everyone visiting the archipelago, and especially for those who explore the islands on a cruise, as you get to snorkel once or twice every day. The islands are well known for their mixing of warm tropical and cold water currents which means you can experience a wide range of temperatures even in one outing in the water. Most cruise companies will provide their guests with wetsuits for their daily snorkeling outings. Quasar provide wetsuits to all its guests at no additional cost, both in shorty and full sizes. For guests who require a bit more insulation, especially between the months of June through December, when water temperatures are slightly cooler, bringing a rash guard or a skin to wear under your wetsuit can be a very good idea both top and bottom. This rash guard or skin can also help you to avoid getting sunburned while swimming around the island beaches. In addition to the wetsuits, Quasar and most cruise companies also provide their guests with masks, snorkels, and fins at no additional cost. If you have issues with mask sizes and fit, we do recommend bringing your own mask and snorkel for a better and more comfortable fit. Guests with poor eyesight may look into purchasing prescription masks that have become fairly inexpensive to purchase online these days. While all the following items are provided for you during a Quasar cruise, if you do choose to bring your own snorkeling equipment, we recommend the following. A full body wetsuit that is at least 3 mm thick. A good mask that fits your face well. A good snorkel with a purge valve at the bottom. A good pair of fins that are not excessively long for ease of carrying. Any good sporting goods stores in your area can give you recommendations on good snorkeling gear for the Galapagos. Be sure to also refer to Quasar's Galapagos Climate and Weather page for details on water temperatures in the Galapagos throughout the year. A link to this page can also be found in the description of this video. To recap, here's a list of the clothing and equipment required for snorkeling. 1. A rash guard or snorkeling skin top. A rash guard snorkeling bottom. A snorkeling mask provided on all Quasar cruises, a snorkel with a perch valve, a 3mm wetsuit either in full or shorty format, and snorkeling fins. Hats, jackets, and other outerwear for the Galapagos. The items detailed in this section are frequently needed when it gets cooler in the islands during the evenings, which is a time when you will experience more breezes as you cruise from one location to another. Also, if flying into the city of Quito, Ecuador, for your Galapagos Islands trip, please remember that it can be cool and it can get downright cold if you go higher into the mountains. So please pack accordingly. Here is the list that we recommend. 1. A light and warm jacket or fleece. 2. A wind and water resistant light soft shell jacket. 3. A rain jacket or parka for Quito and other visits in the mountains. And 4 a hat or a baseball cap for the equatorial sun. The best cameras for the Galapagos and other electronics. Photography is a highlight of any trip to the Galapagos Islands or to mainland Ecuador. The best advice when it comes to camera equipment 
is to bring a camera in a format that you're familiar with and that you know will give you the results that you're looking for. If you buy a new camera for your Galapagos Islands cruise, we highly recommend that you take time to become familiar with your new equipment before you head out on the trip, and also bring plenty of memory cards. For amateur photographers, while a good zoom lens can come in handy and render excellent close-up shots, you probably don't need anything larger than a handheld lens that does not require a tripod in the Galapagos, and that's because it's fairly easy to get close to wildlife. For more experienced and professional photographers, you will want to bring a series of lenses including a long lens for wildlife photography as well as a steady but relatively light tripod. Because snorkeling is a highlight of any Galapagos adventure, the islands are a great place to bring along a camera with an underwater housing like a GoPro. The islands are an excellent place to make home videos, so having a camera that you can use above and below water that shoots both photo and video is a great idea. An important note on camera equipment. Sand and seawater are the enemies of any optical or electronic instrument. Please keep this in mind when considering what equipment to bring to the Galapagos. A good safety measure is to take any photographic equipment inside a dry bag or a high quality Ziploc bag with a zipper lock to keep your camera in, especially when crossing to shore from the ship on board the Zodiacs. Here's a final list of some additional recommended items to pack. 1. A good digital SLR camera. An international outlet converter. Plugs in our boats are 110 volts type A with two flat prongs. This is the standard plug for North America. It is also the standard plug found throughout all of mainland Ecuador. Two or three high capacity memory cards for your camera. If you plan to shoot a lot of video, plan to bring more. Extra batteries and their charger. A sturdy camera case. A dry sack. You can use the same one we recommend in the gear section. A notebook, iPad, or a small laptop to download your photos. This is optional. Sports or waterproof sunblock, SPF 30 or higher. This is essential for the equatorial sun in the Galapagos. A pair of binoculars. Insect repellent for certain times of the year in the Galapagos, but if you're traveling to the Amazon, you will certainly want to bring insect repellent as well. And finally, a reusable water bottle. While Quasar provides all its guests with reusable water bottles at no cost, depending on the cruise company you're traveling with, you certainly want to bring a reusable water bottle as well. We want to minimize the use of plastic in the Galapagos Islands. Backpacks, day packs, and luggage for a Galapagos trip. Now that you have a good idea of everything that you need to pack for an enjoyable Galapagos adventure, it is important that you bring the right kind of luggage and backpack to fit it all in. Luggage. A good durable medium-sized duffel bag is ideal bag to carry your clothing and gear for a Galapagos cruise. Models that have wheels and a handle are best for ease of carrying around airports. Additionally, on smaller ships, where space is more limited inside your cabin, Duffels will easily fit under the bed, whereas a large hard shell suitcase will not. Backpacks. For the daily activities around the islands, a good day pack is essential to carry extra clothes. Your water bottle, your camera, the towel, sunblock, and more. If this day pack is waterproof, or if it comes with a waterproof cover or pocket, even better. Keeping your gear dry while on the zodiacs or during wet landings is important. If your day pack is not waterproof, you can also bring a dry sack, which will keep everything dry in case the entire pack gets wet. Here's a summary of the luggage and backpacks you'll need for a Galapagos adventure. 1. A rolling medium-sized duffel bag. 2. A waterproof day pack. And 3. A dry sack, with a capacity between 13 and 20 liters. Conclusion. Quasar wants to prepare all its guests for the best possible Galapagos Islands cruise adventure and packing the right kind of clothing and gear is an essential first step in the planning and preparation process. We hope you found this detailed Galapagos packing list video useful, and please remember to download our detailed packing checklist using the link in the description, as well as paying a visit to our gear shop to visually see each item on the list. Safe travels and enjoy your Galapagos adventure!